take this pole. <coughs> right angle, hypotenuse, they're right there. Your bait. Tilted <laughs> <laughs> works, old boy. Is it? <gasps> What's your call? Oh my god! <laughs> Coming home. Oh, Alright, you're actually a bastard. You're gone! Woo! <laughs> Welcome to Wee Fish TV. See? I fish, you fish, we fish. So, we're out on Port Phillip. There's a hot snapper bite, autumn snapper bite, one of my favourite kinds. I have a rich history of fishing in Port Phillip at this time of year. It's one of my favourite times to be out here. Pretty much the only time I like to come out here. I stay away in spring, fish Western Port, but I'm happy to come out here in autumn. Typically there's not boats, but look at this. I guess the I guess the word's out that the snapper on. And um Yeah. And as you can see snapper on, so we're waiting for a tide change. Nothing's happening at the moment. We got nothing but pilchards. Me and Adrian just literally just walked out of work. I happen to have the boat on. Last minute, meet at the ramp. Hardly any of the right tackle. We got Western Port rods, but we bought a slab of pilchards. We're just going to cube them up now, and then tide change in about an hour and a half. And hopefully, as we come into that tide change, all the rods buckle and we get a, a ribbon session. There's been some big snapper here too. So. Hey old boss, worst old dog, but he got him and his son got, got like uh, 15 or 18 snappers on yesterday. It must be thick, that's all I can say. So I'll just get these going out like this. That's the heads over that way, that's south. Wind's pushing slightly from the northeast where the sun is, and the tide's going that way. So it's all sitting up beautifully. And as those as those little pilchers waft down and head out that way, any snapper crossing that line will turn, come up the trail, and they're gonna find our pilchards. See there are delicious pilchards and slam them. Because they're so soft, we're gonna go deep in them like this. All right. Get that hook out. This one I'm going to pin right through the middle like New, New South Wales fishermen. And this one I'm just going to half inch over the top like that. See that? Half inches. That takes all the stress of the, the load of the cast. Nice one. Got 60 pound leaders, so it shouldn't. Yeah, well, it's not meant to be 60 pound in here, but that's what we got. And if they're going hard, they won't give a shit. In theorem. And as we know, we love the theorem of Pythagoras. And I've done my maths. Right angle, hypotenuse, they're right there. Hear that quality reel? Look, I probably should have had the service three years ago. I haven't had the service in like six years. Testament to the quality of the reel, really. Still catching fish six years on, no service. Yeah, not bad. Where's my uh, camera looking right now? Yeah, probably. Perfect. And it can just be burly now. That's a bee dog, burly dog. Good old, good old Beeman's dog. I'm gonna put one that sinkers on, watch it. You are on. Come on. You yeah. Sorry, I rod guard. That's all right, mate. Oh, I he came off. No, hit it, hit him. Good fish. What <laughs> I wasn't even going to come today. Brendan twisted my arm, didn't you? Yep, I did an arm twist. No, I was, I, I, that's a good fish. And I was just bagging your um, your bait. <laughs> <laughs> Pilchers works, old boy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Exciting. It seems like a decent fish. Probably um, at least five kilo. So, they're on the bite now. Yeah. My heart's a little bit shaky now. It's been a while since I've caught a snapper. 
Well, we haven't seen anyone catch a fish around us. We just literally turned up 10 seconds ago. Marked one fish and dropped the anchor instantly. No mucking around, was there? <laughs> you like, Mark, and then I just quickly ran to the bow and chucked her in. Is it, are you going to have fun self-netting? Um, do we even have a net? Yeah. Oh. I don't help anglers. Yeah, you don't have to. I'm, I'm Dr. Net Dog. Well, I can put it on my head and help, I guess. <laughs> Why do you got it on the surface? Oh, it's a good fish. Is it? Oh. Look at that. Oh, washo. Oh, washo. <laughs> it's Danny's gob too. Hang on, let me just get the net for you. Bring me. <laughs> Paul's on too. You want two? Oh. <laughs> Say hello to everyone, Paul. Say hello. We've been talking about I fish, you fish, we fish. Like this. Hold on, mate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, let's get some more baits. What are you doing? I'm going to get these more baits out, yeah? Yeah, and then we'll um, do a panty for the camera. I need to get my leader. I've dropped my leader and all that hassle. That's getting small, but I need to find Bleed him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it now. I'll just get this out, yeah? In 10 seconds, I'm getting this out. I just took my finger off. <laughs> Attempting to rip those up there. Oh shit, he did that, did he? Yeah. I've never had a snapper do that in my life. Yeah, I've had a few bites. Oh, I've had bites, but never one that's taken skin off I've been nipped a couple of times, old boy. Had the old nip. <laughs> I was just sick down like that. Alright, I'll get my camera. Good His work, tail's man. been clipped. But yeah. have a look at that, how healthy this fish Bring is. Bring him around the sun a bit. Have a look how healthy this fish is. For an autumn fish, water's still about 20 degrees, and these fish are absolutely firing. It's a better bite than what we had in spring, in my opinion. Good work, old boy. I'm Thanks. glad you came now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good shit, Pusho. See, those who dare win. Should we do a, a photo for social? Yeah. So this is 40 pound leader, they're twin Reedy's hooks, we just seen Reedy go past in the boat a few minutes ago, made him, he's a, he's a manufacturer from Melbourne, um, makes these amazing chemically sharpened hooks, now this is a running hook, so that's top hook just runs up and down the line, conventional blood, lock blood knot in the bottom, and how we do is we, actually what I do is I turn it the opposite way to that hook, I pin it, I grab this line here, and I start going around like this. And I go round and round and round and round and round and round and round. About 19 times I've worked it out. So it comes down level sort of with that barb there, a bit past it even. And then you get the other end of the line. My glasses are fogging up so I can't see what I'm doing. Goes up through the eye of the hook. Oh, I stuffed it. Oh, you fucking retard winger. I let it loop over, didn't I? Okay, so that was really bad. But anyway, you pull it tight and there it is. So that's now a fixed hook. Alright. Hey, watch out. Bang, just like that. We're on the board. We only weren't gonna come out for two hours. If we can get three or four like that, we're gone, we're done. And the next weather window will come over here proper. Get the plastics going. That's crazy. No, nah, I was cruising in the Tiranas. I thought there'd be too many boats. And everyone was getting them? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Not a spot I've seen in 15 months. Wow. Is that a good fish you got on there? It's very solid, but I can feel its head shake yet. You reckon it might be an undulate? Angel. Take this, your dog. <laughs> He's on a fish. It's a head shaking now. 
parts, you know, that looked like a, a circular motion. Wrapped around his tail. What's your call? Uh, the old undulate. I just assumed he died. Definitely um, disintegrated on the tail. No, no, mine's a good bait. Look, straight back out. <laughs> Perfect bait, old boy. They love them like that. So the idea of the flat rod racks, right, is we fish heavy drag lures, right? Heavy. Hooks are fixed. The rod doesn't bend, so the line actually straightens, engages the reel straight away. No rod bend sets a hook. If the rods were up, First thing that happened is the rod had bend over, no pressure on the hooks. Fish feels the weight, let's go. So we leave them horizontal, pointing right at the bait. The first thing they feel is a hook setting and it's too late. So that's what not to do. <gasps> so look, he really nipped in, didn't he? Yeah, so I was quickly trying to rip the hook out. I could see the top one and um, he snapped at the right time. <laughs> so maybe a good name for them would be Snapper. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Look at that. Yeah, I'd say ancient fishermen used to put their fingers in their mouths and lose fingers to snapping jaws. Well, I've never had one actually take skin off my thumb before. I've had scrapes and stuff, like when you try to quickly rip the hook out with your hands, because there's no pliers on the boat. <laughs> yeah, well, Look, the barometer's actually stabilised. Yesterday it was going up, today it's stabilised, so it might not be a hot pipe, but if we get another fish, I'll be stoked. If we get one each, I'll be wrapped. Actually, stole a tiny little treble, pull one of the hooks off the treble, off a brim lure I had in the boat. Now I'm attaching it to 12 pound line, which is a bit heavy. And then what I'm gonna do, I'll put a bit of flatty on it, put it back and catch one of these gars that's lurking on the back of the boat. Just keep that burly show going. Keep the suckers warm and ready. Tiny little bit of bait. That's crazy. Do you want me to get them up? I'll chuck this row in. Watch this. The bloody row. And I'll go straight for it. Alright, we've got that little... Should be coming any second. Here they come. I'll get some too. <laughs> That's better. Good. Oh, look at them. They're going for yours. Yes, they're on. Oh. Too heavy line. They've seen it. Yeah. It's like a marlin. Yeah, they've seen the hook. They're too smart. Really? Yeah. Oh, you got one! Well done! I'll get a rod up. Put him on live. How'd you get the smallest one out of all of them? I struck him. He yeah. came and tasted it and I hit him and, and got him. You got him in the mouth too. He might have two hooks in the other one. Other one in the door. There's such big ones down there. I got the tiniest one. Yeah. The dumbest one. So these are gun snapper baits. They can be, yeah. And can you say? I'm going to try not to ask him. Uh, He's twitching, so. Yep. So we can get another one. So we've got three guys out. We've got a tie change in six minutes and one flatty fill. And so, off, so, as, so often is the case with snapper fishing, one day they're on, the next day they're not. They're still here. And we know that the odd one's having a nibble because we caught one. But if nothing happens in the next seven minutes, we're going back to work, me and that washer. Yep. It's getting hot. It's getting real hot. It's, it's not meant to be this hot in bloody late March washer. No. Well, we've had a good session. Like, you've come out on a work day, 
just excuse herself for long lunch, basically. We both got to be back to work. We got ourselves a six kilo snapper. We caught a couple of garfish on hand lines. And we're going to get back for lunch and then finish our afternoon's work. Ah. Yeah. It's a live gar. Yeah. No, no, I swapped it over. Is That's that? a good fish. Did that you see a, that buckle? That was a serious run right on the tide change. <laughs> wow, wee. That's incredible. That was in the water. That's what you call. We didn't have a camera <laughs> roll on, mate. It doesn't Crazy. matter. We got you picking it up. Oh, wow. That's a big fish. Oh, big shake. Amazing. You see that? Like, that's what you call rail. That was a big buckle, wasn't it? Yeah. and the cars together. You said just another five minutes, didn't we? Yeah, and you said this is probably the last um, burly chuck. Yep. It was a hardcore run, wasn't it? Yeah, it just buckled in the holder. It's... It doesn't mean it's bigger though. It just hasn't really shown its colours yet. Well, it did one mega run at the start and then probably do another run as it gets closer to the boat. You're under the boat, actually. Right over here. <gasps> Good fish. It's tangled another line, that's the problem. Yep. That's Badly. Right. Wow, that's a cracker. Where's it? Well done, winger. He's cooked. He's coming home. Wow, that's two crackers, mate. One each. Yeah. <laughs> They're both beasts, too. Look at the mess! Look at the lines! <laughs> Remember I said one rod's gone under the other? Yeah. And so I swapped them and I was thinking in my head um, that may tangle if we get a fish because I don't know which way it's gone over. That's what we call the tangle of life. <laughs> Have a look at that, every rod in the boat. <laughs> oh, his memory is making an tilly. You are just saying you're going to sell it and it'd be good if we get... Holy shit, you need to release that bail arm on that other rod. We're going to lose... We're going to snap the rod soon. That's it's chaotic. That's a cracker, mate. Almost every bloody rod in the boat. That was epic. I'm going to show you this fish. Got one each now, it's time to go home. <laughs> oh, just hooked nah, in. Hook, right, the other hook was in good. Oh, yeah. But that one's not. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> I'll get a photo. I'll do 0.5 T. Spin his head towards me. Yeah. And another normal one. That's epic. Right, We're ready? gonna get her going? Yep. Hit. I saw. Oh, oh. oh, don't do that to me, you bastard. He's gone. That was epic. <laughs> Look, 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 he's going down. Look. Look. As soon as he gets down, that's it, he's done. He's fighting, he's pushing. He's at least five metres now. Once he gets further down, the less pressure will have to fight. There we go. He's I done. can't see Colin anymore. He's gone. Woo! <laughs> Tilly, Tilly's been at home in the last, in the last hours. Tilly, we're saying goodbye to her. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Just a little quickie. We'll just call it a quickie. From Washoe and Winger <laughs> on Port Phillip Bay. Washoe, Winger and Worstow. Or the Worstows. See you.